The law behind the music box. During the time of the Old Kingdom, the residents of this once great civilization created marvelous items that could do incredible things. One of these items was a music box. After the destruction of the spire, and with it the destruction of the Old Kingdom, these great objects scattered throughout the lands, and one by one were discovered by the residents of Albion. These objects, once well known, now seen as trinkets and artifacts of the Lost Kingdom. The box itself, its true power unknown, but through history, some managed to use its power, appearing as a standard music box to the residents of Albion. Inside contained power that no one understood. Said by many to tremble with energy after touching it, this box would change history. Within Albion's history, the music box appeared during the Age of Enlightenment within Bowerstone Old Town, owned by a man going by the name of Mystical Mergo. This traveling trader moved from town to town selling mystical items that he had acquired on his journeys. Mergo spoke openly and told many tales about how he had acquired the music box. But then, nobody truly knows what is real when liars and showmen are concerned. One story states that he was stopped by bandits on his travels and suddenly lost consciousness. Upon waking up, he found the music box inside of his hand with a note. Although the majority of the writings on the note indecipherable, he could read one part saying, I'm sorry. Another story he told was that he was traveling through the village of Bloodstone. He stopped at a seedy pub. Here, he bought the music box from a hooded figure dressed in yellow who later told him to take the first offer you get or foul fates will befall thee. The final tale he told was that he had simply found it on his journey, traveling from town to town. Standing in front of a crowd in Bowerstone Old Town, Mergo sells his wares. Firstly, a magical mirror that he claimed would make anyone that looked into it appear beautiful. But the magic only worked in the dark. The second, a music box, which he explained to the crowd to be a small unassuming box. A device created by the ancients and used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. Turning the handle three times would grant the user a single wish. Within the crowd, a blind CRS and two homeless children. Persuaded by the blind CRS, who had her own motives, the children purchase the box and make a wish to live inside of Castle Fairfax. After the wish is made, the box begins to spin and play a tune. It spins faster and faster, and then disappears. Upset and disappointed, the children, Rose and Sparrow, go to bed. Unknown to them, although the box had disappeared, this wish would be fulfilled, at least for one of them. This box being a catalyst for a long string of events, that would lead Sparrow to become the mayor of Bowerstone and later King of Albion, living within the castle. Years after the disappearance of the music box, 
five heroes stand on Hero Hill in Bower Lake to perform a ritual. Teresa, the blind seeress. Hammer, the hero of strength. Reva, the hero of skill. Garth, the hero of will. And now, a grown-up sparrow who possessed all three hero disciplines. The ritual to summon an ancient weapon to defeat Lucian after he had rebuilt the spire. His aim to bring back his family and create a new Albion, which would result in mass death. After completing the ritual, Lucian appears and kidnaps the heroes, taking them to the spire for his own ritual to use the powers of the three heroes to use the spire for his wish. Here, he shoots Sparrow, resulting in him entering a dream world where he discovers the music box, the ancient weapon. Leaving the dream world and fully healed, Sparrow finds himself standing within the spire, holding the music box. The hero interrupts Lucian in activating the spire by using the music box to drain all of the power that he had absorbed from the heroes surrounding him. The box turning him into a vulnerable old man. With this, one strike leaves Lucian falling to his death. After this long string of events, Sparrow becomes the mayor of Bowerstone and, later king, after uniting the surrounding towns into one under him. Aware of the power that the box had, he ordered for an academy to be built in Brightwall, a village in the Mist Peak Mountains. In this academy, scholars could learn about Albion's history. Underneath the academy, he built the Reliquary, a secret chamber. Inside of the chamber, he stored the music box and created trials that only a hero could complete in the event that the box would be needed one day. Years later, Sparrow passed away and his eldest child, Logan, became king. Unlike his father, Logan ruled with an iron fist and became known as a tyrant to his subjects. Tired of his leadership, Sparrow's youngest child, who had inherited his father's hero abilities, began a revolution and travelled around Albion to find allies. One of these allies being Sabine, the leader of the Dweller Camp. To gain Sabine's support, he sends the young hero to the Brightwall Academy to retrieve one of his parents' relics. Navigating through the reliquary and completing its trials, the hero discovers his father's music box. With the relic, the young hero gives the music box to Sabine and earns his support in the upcoming revolution. With this, the box remains in Sabine's possession. It is unknown what happened to the music box after this, but it is interesting to think about how different Albion would be if it hadn't existed in the first place. Although small, this music box changed Albion's history. Was it for the better? Who knows? Hello heroes, thank you for watching this little episode. What did you think? As always, like, share and subscribe if you found this interesting. Join our Discord. Now, enjoy your day. Tati bye.